Today I'm visiting San Salvatore on the Italian island Sardinia. It's a deserted village that was once the movie set of many spaghetti westerns. The American western genre peaked in the 30s and 40s and had its influences around the world before it seemed to die out. But in the late 1950s, Italian director Sergio Leone revived the genre with an Italian twist. Think of Once Upon a Time in the West and the Good, the Bad and the Ugly. Italian filmmakers didn't have the budget to fly to the United States for their movies, but a cheap solution was right at their doorstep. The Spanish and Italian landscape was a perfect stand-in for the Wild West, and so the Spaghetti Western was born. They were partly shot in Spain and a few near Rome, but some of them were filmed in San Salvatore, a small village on the west coast of Sardinia. It is said that local bandits at the time were the perfect extras. This small settlement is centered around a church built on a prehistoric sanctuary that still attracts pilgrims. The old village was a perfect setting and with a few tweaks it easily passed as Mexican, complete with saloon. Sadly, the saloon burned down but there is still a bar named Abraxas, where a cowboy wouldn't look out of place. Many directors use this town in parts of their movies. Even a comical version of Don Quixote was shot here. But one of the westerns entirely filmed in the region of San Salvatore is the 1968 movie Gutter Cold, or Garietieri Cold, by director Gian Rocco. As a rare treat for its time, it had a female lead. Lead character Lulu has a gambling problem and needs to defend herself from a fearsome bandit. But then she falls in love with a young Frenchman who asks her to give up her shady ways and start a quiet life with him. When the bandit kills her lover, she is determined to get her revenge. If this sounds vaguely familiar, then you're right. This movie is said to have been a source of inspiration for Quentin Tarantino, who often features strong, vengeful, but troubled women in his lead roles. Tarantino was influenced heavily by spaghetti westerns and even called Sergio Leone's movie The Good, The Bad and The Ugly the best directed film of all time. Walking around San Salvatore, you still feel like shady characters are lurking just around the corner. These days, it is mostly deserted, making the scene only more eerie. For a movie nerd like me, it's a rare chance to freely experience a movie set and see what inspired Tarantino, one of my favorite directors. I would highly recommend anyone visiting Sardinia to stop by San Salvatore and feel like a bandit for a day.